Hello all. This is a follow-up to the first video I did on this power box. And you'll notice the main difference is there is a white covered plug on the front of the box that replaced the black one. With two plugs on the front that were black, I mistakenly plugged my solar panel into the power supply during the amateur radio field day this summer. What that did is it put 22 volts of my solar panel, which was in direct sunlight, into the input, the power supply input, for my Epic Power Gate, which I'll show you here in a moment. It fried the, Epi the um, Epic Power Gate. It also uh, damaged my um, HF amplifier that I had connected to the power gate. So as a result, after getting everything, after repairing one of them myself and sending the power gate back into West Mountain Radio, I decided I better not make that mistake again. So what I did is I put this plug in here for the solar panel, which is white, which will I will not mistake it in the future by plugging the solar panel into the wrong um, plug. There were some questions by some of the viewers about how this box was configured on the inside. I'd like to show you the parts. This is the Epic Power Gate. And it has a, a solar panel input here. It has a battery input here, so the battery goes directly into this port. This is what outputs to all the circuits in the box. And this is the input on the front panel for the power supply. So the input from the front panel power supply goes here, solar panel goes here. Then after they're all plugged in, this tucks down into the box in here. So now let's take a look at the circuitry. The battery, from the Epic Power Gate, this connection that connects this uh, amp meter that then connects into the circuitry is here. So I can, and I have held down by Velcro. Then I can always see how much uh, amps I'm using out of the battery. This then goes into the plus side and the negative side of my fuse box. All the positive leads of every one of my connections is connected into a, on the positive side, to a fuse. There's five of them. All the negatives from my various uh, plugs connects onto the negative side here. The switches are here and here, and you can take a look and see that the way these three panel switches are, are hooked up is one side goes into the positive, another side, it has two connectors here, one goes into the negative, the other one goes down to the, uh, this would be the light circuit into the lights. And then the center connector goes down into the lights. Very similar connection here. 